Hello, in this video tutorial you are going to learn how to create additional domain controller on Windows Server 2003 environment by Sachin Sami, powered by tech.peterchrist.com Ok, before we start let's see some important details Ok, first let's check out the domain controller that is DC I am logging into the DC. Okay, the first step is to check what is the domain name. To check the domain name, right click on my computer and go to properties. Okay, the, and click on computer name. As you can see, the full computer name is server1.peterchrist.com. That means the computer name is server1 and the domain name is peterchrist.com. As you can see here, domain peterchrist.com. Now click OK. Now this is a DC. You also have to check the IP address of the DC. Click on My Places Properties. Click on the Local Area Network and click on Support. There you will see the IP address of the DC. That is a domain controller. Okay, close this. Close this. And now let's go to the additional domain controller which we are going to create now. Okay, let's lock this computer. Okay, now we are on the server which we are going to make a ADC that is the additional domain controller. Okay, let's log on to a server with administrative rights. Okay, there are two three ways that you can create ADC. One is go to start administrative tools and click on manage your server wizard. Click on add and remove roles. Click next. Select domain controller active directory. Click next click next click next ok but we are going to install the ADC from a different way from a DC promo go to start click on run and type DC promo DC P ok DC promo click enter Welcome to Active Directory Installation Wizard will open. Click on Next. Then click Next. Select the second option. Additional domain controller for a existing domain. Then click Next. Then type the administrative password of the domain controller. That is DC. You have to type the password of the DC. Okay. So type the username first that can be any user which have uh, administrative rights now let's type type the password and type the domain name which you want to create additional domain controller that will be Peter Christ P -E -T -E -R -C -R -Y -S dot C O M now when I click next it will show me a error I will tell you what error it will show now let's see the error as you can see it is showing a error an active directory domain controller for this domain peterchrist.com could not be connected you if you are seeing this error you have simply have to add a DNS on this computer go to my network places properties click on local area connection click on properties go to internet protocol and just type the IP address of the domain controller that will be 192.168.051 click ok click close and close 
close this and then click next as you can see now it didn't show any error now you can either type the domain controller name or you can browse to a domain controller click on browse select the domain this is a DC ptcrash.com now click OK then click next then click next here you can also locate a sysfall folder to a other drive if you want to locate it now click next now enter a password a administrative password verify the password and then click next click next now it will take a little time once the active directory installation wizard finish the installation it will show you some details like this this domain control is assigned to a site default first site name site are managed with the active directory site and services on administrative tools ok then click finish click on restart now Once the ADC is turned on, click all control dial and you will see it will show you Peter Kreis. That means this is become an ADC. Now log on, click OK. OK, now on the ADC, go to administrative tools click on active directory site and services on the active directory site and services click on the plus sign beside the site as you can see default first site name click on the plus sign click on the the plus sign here and here you can see servers server 1 and the server 2 both will replicate the active directory database with each other active directory database means all the user accounts all the computer accounts etc etc now let's show you how the data will be replicated let's create a user here and you will see the same user will be replicated on the DC domain controller ok ok I am going to create a user with the name of A click next type the password ok now I have created a user with the name of A now let's go to the DC this is ADC and I am going to lock this server ok on the DC go to start administrative tools active directory user and computers you can see this is DC on the active directory user and computers click on the plus sign click on the user and as you can see a user is here ok thank you for watching of this tutorial don't forget to watch our next tutorial which will be very informative for you thank you